The yellow brick road towards the Oz, known as residency, is riddled with many twists and turns. The process is a test of endurance and strength of will, and chances are you will be a different person at the end of it than you were before you began your journey. As you begin your preparation for the U.S. Emily Step 1, it is important to realize exactly what you're signing up for. Your life will be dominated by seemingly endless amounts of reading covering two years worth of medical knowledge, thousands of practice questions to answer and review, and for those that decide to do a prep course, long, high-yield filled days of lectures and videos. High-yield means you can't afford the luxury of taking a nap during class. You're signing up for a true challenge. But doctors, real doctors, are by their very nature masochists. They push themselves far beyond what would be considered normal human limits to achieve excellence in their profession. Our patients depend on it. Hospitals across the country are full of residents that battled through years of debt building med school and suffered through the trauma of the steps, all for the privilege of being abused, beat up, and underpaid for three to five years of residency. While this noble undertaking comes with a high cost, at the end of the day, it is important to realize that there is no greater reward than the ability to heal. The step one you'll be preparing for has evolved into a different exam than the versions that were administered 20, 10, even five years ago. The USMLE in its current form is not only more difficult and more demanding than it has ever been in the United States, but it is by far and away the worldwide gold standard for medical licensing. I've seen students curse the step one. I've listened to second and third time test takers call it the worst experience of their life. Whatever negative feelings you'll experience down the road towards the US Assembly step one, know this. Those that fail need to accept that they are not ready. And only with eventual success will you prove that you have what it takes to be part of the most advanced medicine on the planet. And now for the good news. There is hope. Each year, 27,000 domestic and international medical students and doctors successfully pass all of their acquired USMLE steps and begin a promising new life training as a physician in the United States. Thousands have come before you, and thousands will come after you. It just happens to be your turn. Seize it. I started this message by saying that this experience will make you a different person. That's something you should be excited about. As you succeed on each step, and you will succeed, you will emerge stronger than you were before. You'll experience a rare, satisfying euphoria and joy that will come with your incredible accomplishment. And you'll feel it not once, but multiple times during the process as you conquer step one, step two CK, and step two CS. You are not alone. As you listen to this, there are countless others ready to embark on the same journey. I hope that as you climb your personal mountain towards residency, that you remember to stop every once in a while to help others towards the same goal. I promise you that you will find others willing to do the same for you. One final important note. Please don't ever allow these exams to define you. You'll hear others say, hey that guy's a 99. Or, I heard she barely passed. You've earned the right to be more than just a score. And residency directors, at least the ones you want to work for, take that into account. There's one New York area residency director that said it best when he said, I'm looking for good doctors, not good test takers. So on behalf of the usonlyzone.com team, I wish you the best of luck. We'll be behind you every step of the way.